Here's today, I'm going to read the Bible story. Today, the Bible title is God Help Joseph, Genesis 37 to 41. Jacob and 12 sons. But Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved Joseph the most. He gave Joseph the best clothes. He gave him the most delicious food. One day, Joseph had a dream. In his dream, he became the ruler over his brothers. He boasted about the dream of to his father and brothers. <laughs> One day, a brother said, let's kill Joseph. Another brother said, don't kill him. Let's sell him as a slave. The brother sold Joseph to Medin Marchants. Joseph became a slave in Egypt. Joseph came, Joseph came to his house of Potiphar. A green near of Egypt. He worked very hard. Joseph was a helpless slave, but God helped him. God blessed the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. One day something bad happened. Potiphar's wife lied to his husband. She, he, she said, Joseph is a bad slave. Part put Joseph in a prison. God was with Joseph in the prison also. Joseph took care of the pregnant nurse. One day, Joseph entered the, the dreams for of two prisoners. They were helpers of the king. A few days later, they were they their dream became true. One night, the Egyptian king had two strange dreams. In one dream, seven skinny cows ate up seven healthy cows. In another dream, seven dream bundles of grain ate up sleep. seven dream bundles of grain ate up the oh. bundles of grain ate up seven healthy bundles of grain. What does this dream mean? The king asked many people. No one could tell him the meaning of the dream. Then the king's helper remembered Joseph. He was in the jail with Joseph. Joseph can inter interpret the dream. The king sent for Joseph the dream, meaning that for the next seven years, you will have good years. You will have harvest plenty of crops, but you will also have seven bad years. You won't have any crops. You must prepare for the famine, said Joseph. The king was very pleased. Um, God has helped Joseph so he can do that. The king was amazed and happy with Joseph's wisdom. The king said, You are very wise. I want you to rule over my people. Sorry for that sound. The king made Joseph a ruler over Egypt. God took care of Joseph. God 
God was with Joseph. Eight. Joseph forgives his, forgive his brothers. Genesis 42 to 45. Joseph's brothers were not good to him. They did bad things to him because of them. Joseph had hurt times in Egypt, but God was with Joseph. God helped him. God gave Joseph wisdom. God made him rule over the Egypt. Joseph forgave his brothers. It's Joseph said they had seven good years with God's help. Joseph saved the crops. After that, seven bad years followed, but they had plenty of food in Egypt. The brother met the governor in the palace. They didn't know that was Egyptian governor was Joseph. Joseph's brother wanted to buy some food. Joseph knew they were his brother. Joseph said, you're the spies. You want to know how much food we have. The brothers were shocked. They said in fear, now we are here to buy food. Joseph wanted to know if they still had hated another. Bring your youngest son back next time and prove that you're not spies. Joseph saw that they carried off Benjamin. He was he saw them help on other to keep Benjamin safe. Joseph wanted to ask them about his father and Benjamin, but he decided to not not to speak. Ask. He gave them enough food. He let them go to their hometown. Joseph's brother came to Egypt to buy food again. They didn't recognize Joseph again. Joseph couldn't help couldn't help crying when he saw his brothers again. Brothers, I am Joseph. The brother were scared. They saw that they will they have they will be killed but Joseph said it's all right, brothers. God sent me to Egypt before you. Let's live here in Egypt. Joseph forgive his brother. They live happily together. Yes. One more story I will read for you. Brief Miriam. Exodus 2. Mariam was an Israel girl. Her family lived in Egypt. The Pharaoh of Egypt didn't like the people of Israel. The Pharaoh ordered him, his men, to kill all the Israel baby boys. Mariam's mother was sad, had a lovely baby boy. She hid the baby and raised him. As the baby grew, she couldn't hide his any, him any longer. She laid her son at the basket and placed him in the river. I will be with the baby, said Mariam. Mariam was a brave girl. Mariam followed the basket circularly. The baby cried in the basket. A woman came to the river to take a bath. She was the princess of Egypt. Look at the baby. Look at the basket, she said. Was surprised to see the 
boy baby in the basket. I will raise the this cute baby myself. The princess said, I will call this baby Moses because I took him out of the river. Moses means a child out of the river. I need a nurse worry. The princess Miriam was watching everything. She ran to the princess and said, I know a woman, she can help you. My mother can take care of the baby, said Miriam. The princess said yes. Then and Miriam brought her mother. The princess asked her, Will I will pay for you for nursing this baby? The mother was very happy to, to raise her own baby openly. Thank you. You're such a brave girl, Mariam, said the mother yesterday. I read the Bible stories. It was fun. And next time I will read, Moses saw the flame of the bush. Exodus 2 to 4, number 10. Yeah, did you enjoy that? Then, then bye.